Start spreading the news. Good morning. It is Sunday, November 5th, I think. I'm at my mom's house. We're about to hit the road to head to New York. Her best friend Phyllis is running in the New York City Marathon. So we're driving up to surprise her at mile eight, I think. So, you know, stay tuned. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good jazz. This will be a cute little, fun little, quick trip to New York vlog. So it's like maybe 2.30 a.m. now. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, it is 3.05. We were on time, but we realized that my grandfather's medicine isn't made past tonight. So luckily we remembered before we got too far, we only got like 10 minutes up the road. So we turned around so that my mom can do his, um, cause the garage lights about to cut off, perfect timing. So that my mom could put his like pills in his containers and then we're gonna hit the road. So technically, we'll probably be pulling out in the next 10 minutes, like 3.15. So only like 15 minutes behind schedule. But also, the Verrazano Bridge is the bridge that we use to get to Queens. And they're closing the bridge at seven o'clock. So I am one of those people where I know how to get somewhere. I only know how to get there one way. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get to where we're going without using the Verrazano Bridge. But yeah, my mom said something about Outer Bridge Crossing, I don't know, and then, cause we could always take the Jersey Turnpike all the way to the end and like go through the city, like go through Manhattan, but we also don't know what's blocked off in Manhattan. So worst case scenario, we don't get to go because we made um, Manny Petty appointments for 10 a.m. So worst case scenario, we miss that. But either way, we're going to figure it out. We're going to be there. We're going to support. We're going to have a good time. So, yeah, I will see you guys once it gets light outside because there's really no point. Like, you can't see us in the car. You can't really see the road. So I will see you guys once it gets light outside. Slight pit stop at the Maryland house to pee and because I'm sleepy. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. An ungodly amount of cream cheese. If Jenny ain't got that, we ain't trying. We ain't trying to hear. It. We made it. It's so dark. It's overcast, but we made it. It is 9:13, and yeah, first stop bagels. That's not the right door. Maybe next Sunday. I don't even know what. I usually get a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese. I still have tea inside. Man, 
So two plain cream cheese rolls, toasted. Uh, no. What you drinking? The tea. Oh, we gonna get in here. Go sit in the car. Yeah, yeah you want to? Yeah. I brought my glasses, but I'm going to wear my need no sunglasses. Hi. Can we do um two plain uh, bagels toasted with cream cheese? Yes, sir. That's it. Yes. Yeah. You said remind me of the days when you was little. Um, and every time we used to go to um, like out in the city, mm -hmm. y'all be like, separate your money into different pockets. <laughs> An ungodly amount of cream cheese. Stop number two. They're not open yet. Mm -hmm. no. uh, 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 start spreading. though because okay you have the people running the marathon and then you have their family tracking like all right next stop yeah that was fun that's i didn't know they had like a um a marathon bar crawl now that i can do <laughs> that sounds fun i want to do that next year that sounds fun yeah pop in get a drink By meet your folks Phyllis finish, you'll be finished too yeah <laughs> she we both gonna be um with, what did her sign say first we run then we won that right <laughs> What's 
this is it's a perfect day for a, a smoothie. That's how you meant for running. Oh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> That's why I'm over here. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I was gonna say ice cream, and I cleaned it up and said smoothie and said ice cream. <laughs> Tired. Yeah. Oh look, there's Barclays again. So we just walk around the huh? Yeah. So we gotta go straight down that way to the place to get the shake up, right? Something like that. We supposed to have a walking signal. Come on. Oh, oh no. We got 14 seconds. Shit, even if we didn't, they can't get across the street to hit us. <laughs> I know, that's right. Feel me now, listen. Mama loves me. Pop left me. Mickey fed me, Annie dressed me, Eric fought me, made me tougher, love you for that my nigga, no matter what bruh, Marcy raised me, and whether right or wrong, streets gave me all I write in this song, Hootie babysitted, changed my diapers, Gil introduced me to the game that changed my life up, East Trenton grew me, had me skipping school, Valencia's boyfriend, Bobo had me making moves, mama raised me, Pop, I miss you. God help me forgive him, I got some issues. Mickey cleaned my ears, Annie shampooed my hair. Eric was fly, shit. I used to steal his gear. I was the baby boy, I could do no wrong. Years going past fast, let's move along. Kitchen table, that's where I hone my skills. Jazz made me believe this shit was real. Labels turned me down, couldn't foresee. Clock sought me out, Dame believed. Primo lace me, ski did too. Reasonable doubt, classic, shoulda went triple. Mama loved me, pop left me, grandma dressed me, plus she fed me. Banana pudding was in the hood then, puffing on L, drinking pink champagne. Tie roll with a nigga, VA spot. Tone Mike, so when them niggas, VA slot. Bigs fuck with a nigga, what's up, ha? Be high, hated the fact I put rap to the back. Money pouring in, clientele growing out. Work for my first death, time to slow it down. October 21st, Lavelle came to the world. Followed by three more boys and then a baby girl. Mama loved me, TT, Uncle J. Loves you to death, won't let no trouble come your way. Oh, can't forget my man down in Maryland. He's gone to November, how can I not remember? Tell your moms I'm near for Haunty Embra And your son too, it's nothing I won't do Unless you was me, how could you judge me? I was brought up in pain, y'all can't touch me Police pursue me, chase, cuff and subdue me Talk to me rudely, cause I'm young, rich and I'm black And live in a movie, not living by rules New rap patrol in the city, follow my crews Blake, you still with me, nigga, what did I say? The time is coming Hit away, means I ain't trying to change you Just give you some game To make the transition From the street to the fame My mama loves me Loves me Loves me We left the exhibit and we're down to one phone on 38% and we're trying to make it to Central Park so that we can meet them at the finish line. Uh, Grand Army Plaza is this way. Or this, the this train station. Huh? I said, or the train station, because that's the plaza right there, but the train station is here. 
or that way. True. So you have to walk there, get on the two train. Because we were like right across the street when it said one minute, right? Yeah. Come on, can we go? Uh. Because we passed it on the way. Because these were the benches we were sitting at, we had already passed them. Right, but from here it said one minute. Yeah. And the next train comes, well, the next train comes in one minute, but the one after that will be six minutes. All right, we got the, okay. the walk. Well, train might be a little late. Huh? Train might be a little late. It might. Never know. There are always delays. True. That was fun. It was nice seeing Polly and Maya. We're riding 20 stops. We're getting off at Times Square. And then... Oh, can we go down right here? Yeah. Let's get on the three train. I have never been on the red line. Ever in life. that she exited the park but we think it's about four blocks from where we were supposed to meet so we're gonna go try to find her she doesn't have a phone because her phone died and we have her phone um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're hoping that she doesn't have like post marathon brain and she remembers that she was supposed to meet everybody at 72nd but we're thinking she's at 76 but we're gonna go down and see a whole bunch of sushi, sushi spots and I would like to try them. Thanks, I was talking about the street now. <laughs> you said not like to try them. I sure would. Like the you want the marathon profile. I didn't do the marathon. My feet are good. We have split up our search efforts. Um, 72nd is where they were supposed to meet but coming out of the race the first exit you see is 76th so we're splitting up between and then there's what is it 76 74 and 72nd are all exits so we're splitting up between those three exits to see if we can find uh, wish us luck <gasps> Spreading the news. I'm leaving today.
I am back. I am in the bed. It is 4.31 a.m. And uh, what, Monday, November 6th, maybe? I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, it is Monday, November 6th. We got back. I got back to my house at like 3.50. Uh, and then I talked to my mom while she drove to her house. Talked to her on the phone while she drove the rest of the way to her house. And then I hopped in the shower, took a quick shower. And now I am in the bed. So I think the last place I left y'all was we were looking for Phyllis. So her phone had died. We all had portable, well not all of us, but there were portable chargers um like the runners had portable chargers and like like my cousin lauren she had a portable charger stuff like that but they weren't working so if anybody has a recommendation on good portable chargers please leave that down in the comments because th the day could have gone so much smoother but um her phone was dead they met them at like um so when we left to go to the exhibit they went to mile 18 to to meet her at mile 18 and then they went to like mile 23 to meet her at mile 23 and then worked their way to the finish line so at some point her phone had died and she gave um lauren her phone so she didn't have a phone at all and then we were trying to figure out um because the first uh runner she exited at a different like we had a uh a like meetup spot but she exited at a different location because it was the first one she saw and she didn't know that there were like multiple so we didn't know where phyllis was going to come out at um like zia came out at 76th street i think and phyllis ended up coming out at like 64th so i we don't really know um the specifics because like they finished the race in Central Park but you're not allowed to be at the finish line in Central Park so we had to wait for them they had to walk like a mile after the race just to get out of the park um but we found Phyllis we the group split up half of them uh walked down to meet Phyllis we ended up taking an uber and just going straight to the like restaurant we ate at um, and then afterwards, we uh, rode with someone. They dropped us off at our car. We hit the road at 10.15. My mom started the ride. Um, and she drove from Queens to exit, like, 5, I think, on the turnpike. So she drove for, like, an hour and 45, almost two hours. Um, and I took the last like four hours and some change. So we made it back. I, uh, I actually wasn't tired. I was sleepy at first, but I'm glad she started driving. Cause once we, um, once we swapped, I drank some of my Celsius, but I didn't, I ended up drinking the whole thing, but, but yeah, I, um, I thought I was going to get sleepy. So I was like playing my music and stuff, but I felt fine. So we zoomed on through and it was a lot more lit, like coming home than it was going up. Like the highway was so dark. I was thinking like, am I getting old? Like, this is why people don't like driving at night because you cannot see a damn thing. But then I realized like you would be able to see a damn thing, but like none of these streetlights are on. So a lot of them were on on the way back so that definitely helped because i was like i can't see the damn road i don't know if the if it's if we curving right if we curving left if we going straight if and then don't let there be no construction and cones and shit you can't tell where the road is but yeah it was all good coming back but i'm beat i'm so glad we went like we had so much fun the day just it flowed so evenly like everything fell into place and now we get to just chill all day today instead of like so if we were thinking about like if we were gonna leave last night we weren't gonna leave until midnight so we still wouldn't even be home like we'd be 
we'd still have an hour and a half left on our journey had we left at midnight and then had we spent the night and left the next morning we wouldn't be leaving for like another five hours so i'm glad we um i'm glad we left last night and i'm glad we left a little bit earlier that worked out perfectly so we didn't have no traffic going up we had no traffic going back i don't know who we think we are though driving six hours having a packed full day of walking and exploring and shit and then driving six hours back poor thing my mom was knocked in the car but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling i'm i'm really not even that tired but i don't want to like sleep all day tomorrow so i'm gonna go to bed but that is the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it that was our spontaneous trip we really wanted to surprise phyllis because um i mean it's a it's a big deal it's a marathon she she's she did it last year um but i was like i don't know this might be her last marathon who knows so i don't know if it will be but we i'm just really glad we came and supported because there was one new year's where her and lauren got in the car and drove down to virginia and just rang the doorbell and surprised us and that was just so fun and so nice and i'm glad we kind of got to um return the favor by surprising her so she didn't see us until mile eight well y'all saw it but she, yeah she didn't know we were here until that moment but I'm glad we went. We had a great time. And we're going to see just about everybody on our Christmas trip to the Caribbean. So stay tuned for that during Vlogmas. But I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. All that good jazz. I will see you all next time. Bye. Thank you.